Hi, I'm Mas. Hi, I'm Evo. We are presenting FabricClick, interweaving push buttons into fabrics using 3D printing and digital embroidery. This pictorial presents a new way to fabricate and enable ice-free inputs or wearable e-textiles by integrating tactile push buttons into fabrics seamlessly. Our body and wearable user interfaces boosted the availability of human-computer interaction. Their subtlety and closeness to the skin enables eye-free inputs and social acceptance. However, tactile push buttons, which have been providing physical landmarks and tactile feedback for blind typing for decades, were often opted out from their considerations because its physical mechanism is not so compatible with the soft wearables. We explored the possibilities of integrating tactile push buttons into the fabrics with 3D printing and digital embroidery. With 3D printing, we embedded structures into stretchable fabrics that utilize spring tension to create 2.5D morphing shapes. The result of the exploration is the design of a star-shaped button which provides the most desirable tactile button behavior. Once we achieved the desired button behavior, we needed a way to register inputs and make the buttons work. We 3D printed the tactile interface architecture and digitally embroidered the electronic circuits to record and transmit inputs. In order to utilize the strengths of each method, we had to seamlessly combine the two without losing position. We developed a frame system that augmented both machine workspaces to make this possible. After a one-time calibration, our frame system can interchangeably print and embroider onto the fabric without interference. To create the buttons, we embroider and 3D print on two separate layers, later joining them with embroidery to create a combined e-textile. Finally, we remove it from the frame and interface the buttons with the microcontroller. As a result, the tactile push buttons become an eyes-free wearable interface, providing 3D physical landmarks and clear haptic feedback when the wearer is using it. HCI and e-textile researchers have been able to measure user inputs, such as touch and gestures, through capacitive, resistive, or inductive sensing by utilizing sewing, weaving, braiding, and digital embroidery techniques. However, the haptic feedback is often missing. This lack of ha clear haptic feedback and error-free haptic feedforward can limit the user experiences of these tactile sensors in ice-free wearable applications. This pushed us to research tactility in wearable push buttons, which primitively supports eye-free inputs such as typing. In addition to, a, to the physical landmarks of a push button, the passive haptic feedback such as the tick during the press of a push button can help users confidently confirm their eyes-free inputs. Wearable researchers have utilized the haptics from conventional electronic modules and customized control boards such as springs and tines to provide recognizable haptic feedback. However, these are often made using non-fabric materials attached to or sandwiched between fabric layers, reducing the flexibility, stretchability, and softness of the textile. As we developed the push-button structures, we had to be conscious of ensuring functionality without sacrificing wearability through unnatural or excessive rigidity. We explored methods to fabricate 3D push-buttons that provide both structural integrity and flexibility for the inputs. We use TPU to 3D print starlight -like patterns on the pre-stretched lighter fabric. This results in button structures that restrict fabric movement in printed areas, enabling programmable behavior of button depth and strength. The tension of the lycra fabric is then used as the driving force and the printed button will provide the structural integrity, enabling the tactile feedback. Through abstraction and exploration, we pursued developing a textile-based sensing method that could re functionally register presses. Therefore, we chose digital embroidery, using conductive yarns and zigzag stitches to ensure flexibility and durability in measuring button presses. To ensure reliable sensing, we adopted the principles behind the button matrix circuit, using parallel tracks of conductive yarn and attaching conductive copper pads underneath each printed button, we formed an array of physical switches to register and transmit button presses. The next challenge is to seamlessly integrate the workflow of the 3D printer and the embroidery machine. Numerous projects have augmented the 3D printers with robotic arms to achieve higher degrees of freedom, while others took a modular approach, 
using attachments to leverage existing hardware to achieve new machine capabilities. In this work, we unify the workflow of the two fabrication methods by augmenting the fabrication machines using a customized frame system. The frame system consists of four layers, the base plate, the 3D printing frame, the embroidery frame, and the inner support plate. The base plate is installed and calibrated onto the print bed of the 3D printer. Calibration is done by embroidering across on a piece of lycra fabric, after which we insert it into the base plate and print over the embroidered cross. We position the base plate so that the virtual centers of the two machine workspaces line up exactly. Calibration forces the automatic alignment of all frames placed onto the base plate. The 3D printing and embroidery frames are made for aligning their respective patterns. The inner support plate snaps into the central frame cavity, allowing physical support during the 3D printing to enable proper fabric adhesion. Now let's walk through how we fabricate a FabricLick button interface. We begin by pre-stretching and securing the fabrics onto each frame, ensuring they're in a high tension state throughout the entire process. Next, we begin the 3D printing process. The 3D printing frame snaps into the base plate, aligning it into place so that we can print the star-shaped button structures onto the top layer fabric. Once printed, we attach conductive copper pads to the underside of the 3D printed layer. Now we move to the embroidery frame. Using HC40 highly conductive thread, we embroider a network of tracks onto the bottom layer, creating an open switch at each button location. Once both layers are processed, we align and combine the two frames to unify the two layers using embroidery. Finally, we crimp the coated copper wires onto the individual embroidered track outputs, allowing us to easily bunch and run the wires to the processor. With this fabrication method, we explored several design parameters like the length of the button legs, the number of button legs, and the depth of the press, and then identified the optimal design, which is a button and a 3D tapered structure. We tested the haptic feedback with a formal force displacement measurement and the durability through cycle testing by pressing each button 4,000 times. The results showed that after 4,000 times of pressing, the haptic feedback is still clearly observable in each button. The button's electrical connections was still functional, showing the matrix's durability during extended use. We also explored the wearability by deploying the buttons at various body locations in an informal embodied ideation session with five subjects. Overall, the participants recognized and appreciated the haptic feedback of the textile push buttons and think the samples are soft and comfortable to wear. From their experiences, we learned that the button arrays placed at the location of soft parts, such as the upper arm, or moving parts, such as the elbow joints, were not completely reliable. This problem could be mitigated if the sleeve fits the wearer's body tightly. We see these buttons in future wearables with a broad range of application areas. They can be used in health applications where highly flexible and durable wearable controls are needed. Gaming applications, such as in VR on-body interfaces, where the buttons can provide ice-free inputs without restricting physical movement. Social applications could utilize the satisfying push and aesthetics of the buttons to inspire conversation and facilitate social embodied interactions. And we believe this is only the beginning. Fabric-like push buttons enable ice-free inputs on wearable e-textiles by interweaving tactile push buttons into the fabrics. The frame system allowed us to streamline the workflow of producing multi-layer, multi-machine buttons, making them accurate and reproducible. To invite makers, designers, researchers, and practitioners to continue experimenting and approaching older problems with new perspectives, we have open sourced the schematics and design files of this project onto GitHub. You can find them through the link. For more details, check out our paper. Thanks for your attention and have fun reading.